Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars but struggle from thin shots from the fairway, I'm going to share five tips to help you get back to solid and ditch the thin. You ready? Let's get to it. All right, so tip number one, make sure you're moving your back hip on the downswing. I see a lot of players leaving it back on their downswing. So you can see that if I put a club on my hips, this back hip is not equal to the front one. All right, so if I cut myself in half, all right, you gotta get this backside moving on the downswing. If you don't, you may hit it thin or fat. Where players go off during the swing on the downswing, they move their upper body, but their back hip gets static. So they may actually start with their hip, but then it just takes a nap. It says, I'm taking a siesta, and this back hip doesn't move. So you end up finishing like this. I put a club on my hips, you can see that this back hip is not equal to the front hip. So you want your hips equal on the finish, okay? If they're not, that's telling me that you're not moving your backside during the downswing, all right? And that's gonna cause thin shots or fat shots. So an easy way to fix it, just pay attention to this back hip. Get it through. So you can see if I put a club on my hips, level. All right, so that's your indication that you did it right. If you didn't, your hips are gonna be like this. All right, so this next tip, pay attention to this part of your glove. All right, we need this part of the glove facing the target at impact. When players go off, is they get this part of the glove facing that away at impact. So that's gonna create an open club face at impact. This trail hand's gonna be underneath. So that means you're most likely gonna swing up on it. So when you swing up on it, you're gonna hit it thin, most likely. So instead, get this ball marker, this is the foot joy, facing the target at impact. Guys like my skirt? Check out the more pars. Check out the back to school theme. All right, another reason why you may hit it thin is that when you're coming through the ball, you got short arms, right? We call this short arms. And guess what? That's gonna pull the club up and you're gonna hit it thin all day long. Uh -oh. All right, so why does this happen? Well, a couple reasons. One, conception. Do you know that you have to get forearm rotation through the ball, right? Where your forearms roll, okay? Where you get this nice long arm extension. The other reason could be, are you trying to swing down the target line? If you're trying to swing down the target line, you're most likely gonna get the short arms, okay? You need to swing, feel like you're swinging in to out to get that long extension, that is key. So a great way to practice is to lay a shaft on your target line and then another one at two o'clock. So between one and two. All right, and your job is to send your club head over the green shaft. Oh my. <laughs> Trying to swing down the target line, you're most likely going to get the chicken. So you're going to feel like you send the club head, not your hands, your club head out over the two o'clock shaft on the downswing. So really visualize that 
shaft at two o'clock, sending the club head over that to give yourself room to release. Next tip I'm gonna give you is watch your hand pass on the downswing. Does your hand travel out on the downswing? Does it get closer to the ball? All right, sometimes players think they gotta get their hands moving out because they're trying to move in to out. But in reality, you wanna keep your hands close to your thighs and the club head swings in to out. The club head not your hands. So if you're trying to get your hands moving out to two o'clock, you're in trouble. During the takeaway, take your hands close to your thighs so you can return it, all right? Because you want to move your path in a similar track, even though you're going to be a little underneath on the downswing. If you have that feeling of moving up and down the, the same track, you're going to be in good shape. So during your takeaway, if you take it out and around, or out this way, and then you're trying to return it this way, it's just more work. All right, so as you take the club back, keep your hands close to your thighs, and then return it there. Okay, and then you can allow the club to swing out. All right, so there you have it. Five tips to help you with better ball striking, getting that thin shot out of the bag for good. Try each one of those, see which one works for you. Everyone has their own triggers. That's why I give you five. So here's a bonus tip. When you're swinging through, I want you to feel like you're making a big wide arc through the shot. All right, and let that momentum, feeling like your arms are throwing out of your sockets, and then take you fully around where your hips are level. Okay, so you wanna feel like you're, the momentum of the swing of the club, swinging out to two o'clock, is taking you for a wide loop around the park. All right, versus trying to swing down the target line, you're cutting that circle in half. All right, instead you're gonna get buffalo chicken wings. So really extend, feel like your arms are being thrown out of your sockets. And then they make a big wide loop around. All right, you're gonna get a lot more club head speed and freedom with this move.